In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Jesus came with his disciples to a country place called Gethsemane, and he said to them, Sit down here while I go over yonder and pray. Then he took with him Peter and the two sons of Zebedee, and he began to be saddened and exceedingly troubled. He said to them, My soul is sad even unto death. Wait here and watch with me. He went forward a little, and falling prostrate, he prayed, saying, Father, if it is possible, let this cup pass away from me, yet not as I will, but as you will. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Again, the high priest began to ask him and said to him, Are you the Christ, the Son of the Blessed One? And Jesus said to him, I am, and you shall see the Son of Man sitting at the right hand of the power and coming with the clouds of heaven. But the high priest tore his garments and said, What further need have we of witness? You have heard the blasphemy. What do you think? And they all condemned him as liable to death. Let us pray. All-powerful and eternal God, for proclaiming the truth, your Son, Jesus Christ, is condemned to death by crucifixion. Stir up your love in our hearts so that we might be ever faithful to all that you have told us and fear nothing more than the loss of your friendship through him. Amen. The second station. Jesus carries the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And Pilate said to the Jews, Behold your king, but they cried out, Away with him, away with him, crucify him. Pilate said to them, Shall I crucify your king? The chief priests answered, We have no king but Caesar. Then he handed him over to them to be crucified. And so they took Jesus and led him away, bearing the cross for himself. Let us pray. Father in heaven, your son, Jesus Christ, still carries his cross and his persecuted brothers and sisters throughout the world. Make us feel the needs of all persons so that we might as readily help them as we would help Jesus himself. Amen. The third station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. If the world hates you, know that it has hated me before you. If you were of the world, the world would love what is its own, because you are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hates you. Remember the word that I have spoken to you. No servant is greater than his master. If they had persecuted me, they will persecute you also. Let us pray. O oh God, to free us from sin and weakness, your Son, Jesus Christ, embraced his fearful passion and crucifixion. Strengthen us in our baptismal resolutions by which we renounce sin and Satan, so that through the passion of this life's sufferings, we might rise to a new life of joyful service, free of all selfishness. Amen. The fourth station. Jesus meets his afflicted mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Now there were standing by the cross of Jesus his mother and his mother's sister Mary of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by, whom he loved, he said to his mother, Woman, behold your son. Then he said to the disciple, 
Behold your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his home. Let us pray. O blessed Lord, at your passion, a sword of sorrow pierced the loving heart of your mother, as Simeon had foretold. Grant that we who look back on her sorrows with compassion might receive the healing fruits of your sufferings. Amen. The festation, Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And when they had mocked Jesus, they took the purple cloak off and put his own clothes on him, and they led him out to be crucified. Then they forced a certain passerby, Simon of Cyrene, coming from the country to take up his cross. They brought Jesus to the place called Golgotha, a name meaning the place of the skull. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, help us to see in the sufferings and shortcomings of our lives a share in your cross. Strengthen and console us in the belief that we bear all things in union with you who have taken upon yourself even our guilt. Amen. The sixth station, Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Lord, when did we see you hungry and feed you, or thirsty and give you drink? And when did we see you a stranger and take you in, or naked and clothe you? Or when did we see you sick or in prison and come to you? And answering the king will say to them, Amen, I say to you, as long as you did it for one of these, the least of my brethren, you did it for me. Let us pray. Almighty and ever-loving God, we feel your love and understanding in the consolation and support we receive from one another. Give us, we beg you, the courage and dedication to sacrifice and suffer with those who are in need, the least of your people. Amen. The seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was our weaknesses that he carried, our sufferings that he endured, while we thought of him as stricken, as one struck by God and afflicted. But he was pierced for our offenses, crushed for our sins. Upon him was the punishment that makes us whole. By his stripes we were healed. We had all gone astray like sheep, each following his own way. But the Lord laid upon him the guilt of us all. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you shared in our weaknesses and accepted our guilt. Grant us the favor of rejoicing over our human weaknesses, so that in all we do, your strength dwelling in us may be shown to all others. Amen. The eighth station, Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. There was following Jesus a great crowd of people and among them were some women who were bewailing and lamenting him. Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of, of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. Let us pray. Beloved Jesus, with tears of pity, these women of Jerusalem responded to you, broken, bruised, and beaten on the road to Calvary. Deep in our faith, we beg you so that we may see you in our brothers and sisters, bruised by our envy, beaten down by injustice, and broken by our greed and our indifference. Amen.
the ninth station. Jesus falls a third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I lay prostrate in the dust. Give me life according to your word. I declared my ways, and you answered me. Teach me your commands. Make me understand the way of your precepts, and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. My soul weeps for sorrow. Strengthen me with your words. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, you permitted your Son to be weakened, crushed, and profaned, so that he may rise from the dead, freed from the ravages of sin. Help us to ac accept our weaknesses and failings as forerunners of our glorious resurrection, in union with your Son. Amen. The Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his clothes. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They gave Jesus wine to drink mixed with gall, but when he had tasted it, he would not drink. Then, after they crucified him, they divided his clothes, casting lots, to fulfill what was spoken through the prophets. They divided my clothes among them, and upon my garments they cast lots. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, stripped of everything, you stood exposed to the jeers and contempt of the people whom you loved. Clothe, clothe us with genuine love of others, so that nothing we suffer may ever fill our hearts with hatred or bitterness. Amen. The 11th station, Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When they came to Golgotha, the place called the Skull, they crucified Jesus and the robbers, one on his right and the other on his left. And Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Let us pray. Lord and Savior, you have told us that we too must accept crucifixion if we are to accept resurrection with you. Help us to rejoice in the sufferings that came with the fulfillment of our daily duties, seeing in them the royal road of the cross to resurrection. Amen. The Twelfth Station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It was now about the sixth hour, and there was darkness over the whole land until the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the curtain of the temple was torn in the middle. Jesus cried out with a loud voice and said, It is finished. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. Then bowing his head, he died. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. The 13th station. The body of Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When the soldiers came to Jesus, they saw that he was already dead, so that they did not break his legs. But one of them opened his side with a lance, and immediately there came out blood and water. 
Joseph of Arimathea because he was a disciple of Jesus, although a secret one for fear of the Jews, besought Pilate that he might take away the body of Jesus, and Pilate gave permission. Let us pray. Beloved Savior, you return to the Father all that he had given you, so that he might restore it all to you a hundredfold in the glorious resurrection. Help us, we beg you, to give generously of ourselves and all that we do for you, so that like you, we might be made perfect in a new resurrection. Amen. The 14th station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Joseph of Arimathea took the body of Jesus and wrapping it in a clean linen cloth, he laid it in his new tomb, which he had hewn out of rock. Then he rolled a large stone against the entrance of the tomb and departed. Let us pray. Almighty and eternal God, on the edge of sadness when all seems lost, you restored to us the Savior we thought defeated and conquered. Help us, we beg you, so to empty ourselves of self-concern that we might see your hand in every failure and your victory in every defeat. These things we ask in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns forever with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The resurrection of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices that they might go and anoint Jesus. Very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had just risen, they came to the tomb. They were saying to one another, who will roll the stone back from the entrance of the tomb for us? For it was very large. But looking up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. And upon entering the tomb, they were amazed to see a young man sitting at the right side and clothed in a white robe. He said to them, Do not be terrified. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell, the third day he arose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. And from there he shall come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Amen.